Okay, this is problem 11 in the multiple choice, and it asks which of the following are correct. Okay, so let's go one by one. Um, and this problem is all about complex numbers, so it tests, it tests our knowledge of uh, definition of complex numbers. So, P says square root of 2 is not a complex number. So, a complex number is anything that is written in the form a plus and minus b i. Square root of 2 is a number, it does not have any, any i part to it. So, that's kind of like the a, so it would be square root of 2. Now, the b part would be 0 i. So, it does have an i part, but it's become 0. So, technically, this actually is a complex number. Square root of 2 is a complex number. Every number is a complex number. So, part uh, choice P is not correct because square root of 2 is a complex number. Now, uh, part Q says complex conjugate of 2 is negative 2. So, again, I wrote here before um, the complex conjugate. Uh, or the complex number definition is this, a plus and minus bi. So 2 is like writing 2 plus or minus 0i. So the complex conjugate is when you change the sign of this. So let's just say for the sake of this problem, that let's say we have a positive. So if we change the sign to get the complex number, we would get 2 minus 0i. So the, the sign that changes is the part that has the i in it. So actually the complex con conjugate of 2 is also 2. So the complex conjugate of 2 is not negative 2. So that is not correct. Okay? And part r says the square root of negative 2 times the square root of negative 8 is negative 4. So Remember the definition of i is square root of negative 1. Okay, so we're going to use that here. And so we're going to take out a negative 1 from here and say this is i times square root of 2 times, take out a negative 1 from here, a square root, square root of negative 1, and say this is i times 8 equals negative 4. And now we're going to group together the two i's, giving me i squared, and we're going to group together the square root of 2 and the square root of 8. Remember that when you have two square roots that are being multiplied, you can put them together into one. So this becomes i squared times square root of 16, or 2 times 8, equals negative Okay, so square roots that are being multiplied can be put together. Square roots that are being added cannot be put together under the same square root. Um, from here, the square root of 16 becomes just 4. I squared, remember from the definition, or from squaring this, is negative 1. And that will equal negative 4. So negative 4 equals negative 4, so part R is correct. And also, make sure that you're doing this via um, taking out i's, okay? Because you could do it the wrong way and get 4 equals to negative 4, and you would normally put that as wrong. And I'll show you how you would have gotten that so that you don't make that mistake. Um, let's do this. So if I wouldn't have used the definition of i, I would have said, let's put together the negative 2 and the negative 8 under the same square root. And I would have gotten negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. And that gives me 4 does not equal negative 4. But the truth is that you can't eliminate two negatives under the square root like by simple multiplication. You have to use the definition of i whenever you see a negative under the square root. So every time you do that, go ahead and take out the i's first before you do anything else. So uh, the answer would be... R is the only correct choice from these, and that is answer choice C.